Hey, what's up guys? This is Gian of Gadget Filipinas and welcome to This Week in Tech. Today we've got plenty of things to talk about. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Headlining our week in tech is from Sony PlayStation. The new and improved PlayStation Plus is coming soon and Sony is starting to slowly reveal the games that will be included in the higher tiers of the service. While the new essential tier will just be the regular PS Plus subscription as it is now, the higher tiers will be offering a catalog of titles that can be either streamed or downloaded. As announced on the PlayStation Plus, this is an early look at some of the games that will be included in the launch timeframe and titles may vary by local market and some titles may not be available to stream until after launch, but they will be available to be downloaded and played. Depending on the region you're subscribed to, some titles may not be available so it would be wise to check each game title properly before you decide to subscribe to the all-new PlayStation Plus. Of course, the list Sony announced shows a handful of amazing titles for PS4 and PS5 from PlayStation Studios like Marvel's Spider-Man and Uncharted 4 and from third-party partners like Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition and NBA 2K22. So if you're subscribing to PS Plus Extra, Deluxe, or Premium, you'll get to enjoy these amazing games. Now, apart from PS4 and PS5 titles, Sony is also making PlayStation Classic games available for those who are subscribing to PS Plus Deluxe or Premium. Some of the games on this list will show improved frame rates and higher resolution. Some PS1 and PSP games will also get a new user interface that will allow players to save their games at any time and even rewind the game. Now, players who have previously purchased a digital version of these games won't need to make a separate purchase or sign up for the new service to play these games on the PS4 or PS5. Some will even be available for individual purchase. Now, the PlayStation Plus Premium subs, moreover, will get to play PS3 games from PlayStation Studios like Demon's Souls and Resistance 3 and from third-party partners like Devil May Cry, HD Collection, and Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. PlayStation Plus Deluxe and Premium subscription will be allowed to try out some of the titles for two hours to test them out before purchasing. The playtime counter will only work when in the game and any trophies and save data can be carried over should you purchase the full game. Starting May 24, Deluxe and Premium subs will get to try these games for two hours. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection, Horizon Forbidden West, Cyberpunk 2077, Farming Simulator 2022 or 22 rather, or Tiny and also Tiny Tina's Wonderland and WWE 2K22. New games will be added regularly on a per month basis with PlayStation Plus Essential getting the new games on the first Tuesday of every month while PlayStation Plus Extra and Deluxe or Premium will see a refresh every mid-month. Now, I want to get your thoughts on this. Are you looking forward to trying out the new games on the all-new PlayStation Plus? Sound off in the comment section below. Moving on from the console gaming, let's now talk about something from Asus ROG. Asus Republic of Gamers announced a couple of new gaming products at the For Those Who Dare Boundless Virtual Event. Among these include two new ROG Strix and ROG Flow gaming laptops, a series of bags and apparel from ROG Slash, the Team ROG Initiative, and a standalone first-person parkour game for ROG Citadel 15. Allow me to highlight the three products they announced, the ROG Strix Car 17 Special Edition, ROG Flow X16, and the ROG Slash Series. The new ROG Strix Car 17 Special Edition offers cutting-edge cooling solutions. Among these include a custom vapor chamber and a conductonaut extreme liquid metal applied to both the CPU and the GPU. The laptop is powered by an Intel Core i9-12950HX processor with a maximum CPU TDP of 65 watts. In addition, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU has a maximum TGP of 175 watts with dynamic boost. The other laptop is the ROG Flow X16, the sister to the ROG Flow X13 and Z13 that we reviewed 
on our website. It features an AMD Ryzen 9 6900HS processor and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti laptop GPU with an MUX switch. The new Flow member features a flagship ROG Nebula HDR display with a QHD mini LED or LED panel with a 165Hz refresh rate. The panel also covers 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut and has 1,100 nits of peak brightness. Now you can check out the specs of these two cool laptops on our website at gadgetpilipinas.net. Ram Ronquillo gave us a full rundown of these products, so I encourage you to check them out. The company also introduced the new products in its ROG slash fashion line that is inspired by Cyberpunk. The fashion line features adjustable straps, multiple compartments, and water-repellent TPU materials on the cross-body bag, backpack, hip bag, and protective laptop bag. Meanwhile, the new Cobra buckle cap and bucket hat offer protection from the elements while standing out. Now that's it for Week in Tech. As usual, thank you all for watching. Special mention to our new subscribers, Matthew Joshua Susito, Jason Macanas, Verxi Lau, Genetex, Edmark Daluz. And also, of course, special mention to my coach, uh, Mervin Gloria. Coach, kumusta naman, no? If you're new to the channel, guys, a sub would be, of course, appreciated. This has been GN, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.